So this is thinking. It's fascinating to sit in observation of the mind and its wandering thoughts. Have you ever done that? Your mind has the ability to think everything about everything. You know, one of the things that I find interesting about Amazon, Amazon is a you know pretty big company. They say that their mission is to sell everything to everyone. Well, look at your mind. Your mind has the ability to think everything about everything, right? In all sorts of different ways. Sometimes that thing that we call the dark passenger can even produce thoughts that are so strange. You do this, thoughts that are so strange that they would actually place you straight in prison should the authorities find out what you think sometimes, right? So just acknowledge that your brain is doing this whether you like it or not. Other times, it may produce thoughts and opinions about things that arise that in no way, shape, or form support your master plan. They're actually counterproductive, useless. So the idea of allowing that wet piece of meat in your skull, in your cranial vault, that wet piece of meat, and it's thousands of interpretations of reality, allowing it to call the shots today is insane. No? So why did I just start off like that? I want you to make an observation that most of the things that you're acknowledging are happening in your brain are just thoughts. It doesn't mean that they have anything to do with your plan today. So today, what if you learn to embrace your mind's eccentric method of function as just that, eccentric? Here's an analogy. You have friends like this, right? Anybody here, you know, anywhere, anybody that's listening, anybody here have friends that are eccentric, right? So you have friends that act a fool sometimes and just do stupid stuff, but you know what? You let them off. Why? They're eccentric. It's just the way they are, right? So why not acknowledge that about your brain? Let's do that. Rather than look to your brain and your thoughts as a fact checker or some sort of super intelligent search engine, when thoughts arise, and they will, and they are right now, when thoughts arise, either good or bad, observe them with fascination as if you're watching a movie. When they arise, you can say the word, and this is from Buddhism, you can just say the word as an anchor. You can say thinking. And by saying that word, it, it acts as an anchor to remind you that it's just that eccentric mind of yours doing what it does, thinking, but not having to acknowledge the power and the value of what it is thinking. The same goes for feelings, by the way. You know, feelings play a role in this too. They are nothing more than feelings. There's even a song about that. Remain conscious today and open to the idea that you can perceive what you're looking at. You actually can look at things today and perceive them the way you want to. And you can decide what it means, what, what it is that you're looking at. You can decide what it means to you without checking with your thoughts and feelings about it. Because they're happening all the time. And sometimes they mean nothing. Make sense? Well, I hope so. Because all I wish for you is that you have an amazing day today and you're Good morning has now turned into a great morning, and I'll see you again tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Eastern.